Hello folks, and this is a game. Uh, I haven't done a one shot in a while, so I figured I'd do a one shot LP. Uh, pretty much is just taking a brief look at a quick game that uh, I found, and I just kind of was bored enough to want to share. Uh, this is Super Robot Wars J uh, for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, actually, it, tra it was translated by somebody. Originally in Japan, there's a whole bunch of these games uh, for Super Nintendo, PS2, PSP, all sorts of stuff. As you can see, it's retardedly, overly plot driven. Uh, as you can see there, there's too much plot. <laughs> it's either A, a little bit information overload overload or you have to be a little bit uh, nutball mecha fan uh, in fact I'd actually show you even more intro but uh, the Game Boy Advance gave some sort of weird buzzy noisy sound uh, and this is and where I started this clip is where the uh, actual emulator started to work right so <laughs> So pretty much, uh, this, like I said, this is just a quick view of it. Uh, I'm not gonna show too much plot stuff. It's why it's all skipped. Uh, if there's enough interest after this, then I might do an LP of this. But this game is very, very retardedly plot heavy. But I figured I'd show you guys the more uh, super deformed part of it. Uh, just because I'm kind of still in that I want to play Estigo sort of mood, but I can't play Estigo. But uh, pretty much what you guys missed is as you uh, so when you start a new game, you get to pick uh, between two mobile suits. I believe a third mobile suit if you unlock it, or a fourth one. Don't quote me on that. And And I believe you, uh, if you have allies that are in certain engineers, like when you start the game, uh, you pick three uh, generations of mecha, and if any of your units fall into that line, they uh, get a bonus. Also, any units that are in like the same series, they get a bonus. If they had any friendships, they get a bonus. If they get, if they were romantically involved in some sort of way, uh, they get a bonus. Uh, they, they really hardcore uh, nutball mecha fan this game. Uh, yeah, and this isn't just pure Gundam either. This is like there's Full Metal Panic. There's all sorts of all different types of series like uh, there's Gundam C, G Fighter, uh, I think Escaflone comes in like a couple of the games, uh, I mean they're just all over the place on this. So if you're a mecha fan, uh, this is one of those series you want to look up. But like I said, most of it is not translated and most of it is uh, you just, you're gonna have to hunt for it. That's all I can really tell you for it. Uh, um, but a friend sent me this, actually, yeah, and this is just my first overview of it. I looked at the game in FQs a little bit to understand the whole game, because it's a little confusing. But how he put it was kind of right. It does sort of have that fire emblem, and then uh, you know, all sorts of different things all together, like Mangresser and all that, just kind of mixed all over the place. So like, if you're a micromanager, this is sort of the thing for you, because you can actually micromanage how they counterattack, if they counterattack, if uh, you want them to evade, if you want them to do this, if you want to activate their special abilities, which I'll show off later. Uh, I mean, Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of micromanagement. Uh, in 
fact, I actually lost uh, this first level twice, and that's just getting used to the interface. Uh, every attack you do co loses, I mean, it costs you energy, and I don't know how to replace that yet. Yeah, another one of them, I, I wish I knew sort of information. As you'll see here, because, uh, like, I mean, they really, they really pushed the endurance mat of this, uh, of all these suits, pretty bad. But, uh, it's not too bad of a game, it's just kind of, like I said, it's plot heavy, uh, I had, like, just before even that opening footage, I had to cut out, like, a good chunk of it. Uh, but at the end of it, I'll show you another good, nice plot chunk that I uh, didn't get to see, because I beat the uh, thing. Also, boob missiles. Why is there boob missiles? Um, Bonaparte has, as a company, has made it quite a few games uh, that I've liked, so they're not too bad of a company. They made some good ones, they made some bad ones. I think they might have done uh, a couple actually PS1, PS2 games. Uh, I think maybe they had a hand in Harvest Moon or something, but don't quote me on that one either. I, I know I've heard the, name, the company before, but I don't know whether what games they've done completely. Also, unfortunately, this run, I've had really bad luck. It seems like every time you start the game, every pilot has different stats. Because, uh, when I very first played it, they were dodging like crazy. And then this time around, they're, uh, getting hit like crazy. So I think they just randomized the starter stats for every, for the suits. And they like to beat things in a dead horse. Uh, I don't know why. They just keep wanting to mention. Oh, well, we gotta kill this. We gotta kill this. We gotta kill this. We gotta kill this. Like this. this. All those darn lizards. We gotta kill this. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys can keep up or not, but they've mentioned those darn lizards like at least ten times <laughs> at this point in the sh in the uh, intro here. Awesome, but I do like the attack animations for these, and like I said, uh, if you're a mecha fan, definitely look this series up, because they really had fun with this. Uh, they'd actually, you can set theme songs for each of your characters, you can uh, do different attacks, uh, all the attacks have unique animations, so like if, if you like the uh, easy eight moment of when uh, he goes jumping down jumping against that building and shooting all that shooting his machine gun while going down the mountain I mean it's downhill uh, they got the team also fan service there you go there's your fan service bring out the big guns <laughs> and have bouncing boops yeah, they didn't think of that one too clearly, did they? Or did they? Who knows? But, uh... I mean, they, they... They really tried to go out of their way to make these animations pretty good. So, if you, if you just want to see, like, one of your favorite mobile suits or something in Gundam or whatever, in uh, Super Deformed Gun, this type of... SWR and the suit name, and there's probably a YouTube video of it. They got most of the suits, I believe. So. Let's go from there. There's not much to talk about here, really, but it is not too bad of a game. Like I said, it's. I mean, it's what you'd expect from a mecha game, I suppose.
Also, I do like the O rifle in animation. Uh, also, the majority of these suits, I've got, like I said before, I have no idea what the heck, they, where the heck they are, who they're from or anything, uh, other than G Fighter, that's all I, that's all I know. <laughs> and if anybody actually wants me to do an LP of this, I will, uh, but I do have to say that the intro did, like I said before, uh, it caused some weird <coughs> sound. So, uh, I can't really do them as well. So, if any footage goes <coughs> well, I can't do much about it. But there are other videos of this, so you can probably look up them and figure out the good intro to it. Also, this game is way too buddy buddy for me, I think. Uh, pretty much, like, the whole intro of this level is him talking about school. <laughs> or his school buddies and stuff. And yeah, I'm surprised I survived that. Yeah, you see the little heart symbols there? That means that they're, uh, that they get a bonus. If you move them close, they'll repair, see? So, like I said, you know, they get like all sorts of bonuses if you pay attention to them. Myself, I'm, I'm more of a UC sort of uh, Gundam fan. I mean, I, I know you guys have seen quite a few videos that I've either liked or uh, either commented or talked about or played or you know stuff like that. Uh, I'm not kind of them. I'm not a person who's into Gundam per se. I'm just into like some of the suits. Like, I'm more of a Zaku person. I'm not a Gundam person. Oh, there's some of the spiritual abilities. Like, he has guts, which will uh, fully heal him. And that's me just trying to figure out what the heck the difference between an AM and an A, and an a is. Evidently, the M symbol means map. So I just wasted like a bunch of energy on nothing. But you guys couldn't see the animation anyway. But yeah, I'm just not into that new type wispy teen junk. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it, it, it just doesn't feel right to me. Even G and G Gundam, I mean G Fighter, I can tolerate to some extent, but that's just Gundam on Street Fighter. Just kind of like how uh, 0083 is Gundam Top Gun style. <laughs> I just. I, I don't like the whole uh, hyper suit, hyper pilot sort of thing. I, I kind of like it where the, I kind of more like the Easy Eight style of it, where uh, it's pretty much not you can get average pilots to to somewhat good talented pilots, but their suits and their abilities aren't exactly perfect. 
I mean, at least it makes it a little more interesting. Because, I mean, if, if you watch some of those, like, shark counterattack and stuff, I mean, they just... It pretty much ev everything that's in their way is like a speed bump. You have two main characters and everything all around them is just like little speed bumps. They just die in two seconds. <laughs> I just don't like that premise. That's retarded. So if I piss off any Gundam people, uh, like I said, I'm sorry, I'm just not into it. <laughs> That's not to say there's not a few suits that I don't like from the other series. Uh, I do like Gundam Wing to some extent, and uh, like Death Sife is pretty cool. Uh, I like Sai Sai Shi's Gundam from G Fighter. Uh, I mean, there are, there are some pretty good suits. It just, I said, I just can't seem to tolerate some of that other stuff. No. Anyway, what I wanted you to take notice here is how quickly my energy is just falling quick. I mean, every, every little attack. Like, I'm already below half energy, and this is just from... He just spawned in, and it was only one turn, and he's nearly out of energy. And they force him to counterattack all the whole time. <laughs> I mean, that's just showing how, how annoying this is. See, he's also got the full heal ability. Some of them don't have guts. Some of them have like evade and things like that. Now I'm letting him shoot first so that I get a good starting move to the next spawn. As you can see, they're little nice missile animations. I guess, if anything, I'm glad that they didn't do uh, Voltor or you know, some of them type of mecha stuff. I think if I saw a Super Mecha Zord, I, I think that would be a little bit too much for me to handle. <laughs> Got another Mecha Beasts. Luckily, like I said, they don't look like Mecha Zords. Thank goodness. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to deal with. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers now. <laughs> 